Today in Latin grammar, we're going to talk about forming adverbs. And we're going to form all degrees of the adverb, the positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. Before we do that, we have to look at where adverbs come from, and they come from adjectives. So let's discuss our two types of adjectives, first starting with first and second declension adjectives. These end when they are regular in us, a, um. Here we have stultus, stulta, stultum, which means stupid. To get your stem for these, you always go to the feminine form. You drop off the A, and this gives us our stem, stult. Third declension adjectives have three types. There are three termination, two termination, and one termination third declension adjectives. Regardless of this, though, you go to the genitive singular and you drop off your is to get the stem. We're going to be using fortis forte, brave or strong, for our adjective for the rest of this video, and the stem for that is fort. Now that we've got our stems, we can go into forming the adverb. And the positive adverb is the only time that first and second declension adjectives will form differently than third declension adjectives. So for a first and second declension adjective, we take our stem, which we got from dropping off the A of the feminine form of the adjective, add an E with a macron over it, and that gives us stolte, which means stupidly, our positive adverb. Third declension adjectives are a little different. You take your stem that you got from dropping the is from the genitive, you add the ending eter, and we get fortiter, bravely. As a fun little fact, you might know that eter is the accusative neuter form of eter itineris, the word for journey, and often the neuter accusative is used in an adverbal sense. So this is kind of through the way or through the journey of braveness or bravery, if you want to think of it that way. Forming the comparative adverb is much more simple because now it doesn't matter what declension your adjective comes from. As long as you have your stem, you add eos to it, and you get your comparative adverb. So here we have stoltios, more stupidly, and fortios, more bravely. Superlative adverbs are also simple, as long as they're regular, and we'll talk about two irregular forms as well. Again, you just take your stem that you've gotten previously, you add isime, and we get stoltisime, most stupidly, and fortisime, most bravely. The most common irregular formations are listed below. The first is when the masculine form of an adjective ends in er, and this is regardless of whether it's first and second declension or third declension. It will work either way. So here we have polcare, which is the masculine form of beautiful. So instead of finding a stem, we just keep the entire masculine form. We add rime, and that gives us polcarime, most beautifully. The other major irregularity is in third declension adjectives that end in lis. Uh, here we're using the example of facilis, facile, easy. So you still get your stem, which will now end in an l, and to that we'll add lime uh, for facilime, most easily. And finally, there's a bunch of completely irregular adverbs that you need to just memorize. So take a moment to stop the video here, write these down, and begin to commit them to memory.